So one of my product reps reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to uh, review an air blower. And I was like, air blower? I don't know, you know? Uh, but I clicked on the link and I looked at it and I said, oh, wait, this is pretty cool. So they sent this out to me to uh, review. So full disclosure, I mean, they're not paying me to do this review or they're not going to see this video beforehand, but I do get to keep this blower, uh, which is pretty cool. So let me show you. All right, let's take a look at the box. Uh, you get a little paper air filter here, which I'm not going to use. Uh, you get the battery pack, the uh, blower, some accessories here, and the charging cable. Uh, very nicely packed. And then all you do is you line up the uh, grid lines here with the one on the battery pack. And it kind of pops in like that. And then just simply attach your accessory. And you're good to go. From here, operation is pretty straightforward. We have our uh, USB-C port here for charging the battery pack. We have the power on button, and then we have an LED light uh, button here. So you just push and hold the uh, LED light button for one second, and it'll come on so you can kind of inspect whatever it is you want. Uh, and then you just push and hold for one second to turn it off. Uh, the power button's the same thing. You push and hold it. Uh, for one second, then these three LED bars come up. Uh, and this indicates that we're currently in full power. You can push it again to go to medium power, or this is low power when there's a single LED. Now by default, the blower will stay on as long as you hold the trigger button down, and then when you let go, it'll stop. Just like that. But it also has an automatic mode where you can uh, tap this trigger button the blower will stay on until you tap the trigger button again. And to activate that, you uh, press and hold the trigger button and the power button for one second, and then it'll go into automatic mode. See, so like that. And then to put it back into on-demand mode, uh, you push and hold the trigger button, and then, uh, push the uh, power button for one second, and then it'll go back into on-demand mode. Now, air blowers, of course, are great for like cleaning your keyboards and electronics, your camera gear, you know, lenses. Uh, I blow out the inside of my bag sometimes. And uh, also for laptops. A um, couple months ago, my laptop was randomly crashing and I was losing video. It's just, you know, just not working right. And when I touched the top of my laptop, it was burning hot. So I took the back cover off and I looked at the fans and they were clogged. There was no airflow getting in through those fans at all. So I took an air blower that I had before and cleaned everything out. And now it's running perfectly. So I looked at my other laptop and it wasn't anywhere near as bad as the one I had just cleaned, but this one was fairly dirty. So for a little preventive maintenance, I took uh, my new air blower out and cleaned it up. And then you know how it is when you kind of get in this zone. I was looking at my cameras and I was like, man, these are filthy too. So. I cleaned these up, and here's a couple of before and after. So you get the idea. I mean, it's a tool, right? It's an air blower. But what makes this really nice is just the uh, compact size of it, the all metal build. It feels really good in the hands, nice and solid. I even like this. It's a little gimmicky, but I even like this uh, lock and load type assembly to it uh, from the uh, you know blower motor to the battery pack. I assume this is so that you can attach eventually different accessories. Uh, what would be a good accessory for this would be like you can attach like a... Uh, uh, one of those tactical flashlights or, you know, camping flashlights on the top. Because this LED thing here on the bottom, it's fine. You know, it's kind of like your little keychain key lights. It's uh, it's bright enough for like indoor, but you're not going to use this uh, for anything else. And then just for comparison, this is uh, my old air blower that I've been using. Uh, and you can see it's just a, just a huge difference in size uh, between the two. And honestly, this one actually has more airflow coming out the two. And this also has a, a vacuum aside to it, but 
The problem is this one, right, has the brush and the outflow going this way uh, all on one end, whereas this one, the airflow going out this way, there's no brush attachment. And then here, the vacuum is never quite enough. So what I end up doing is kind of brushing, you know, whatever it is I'm cleaning this way and then blowing it this way, then brushing, you know, back and forth. Whereas, you know, I actually, I kind of like this uh, design better where the brush is right in front of the airflow. Uh, so I don't have to, you know, flip back and forth. So let me talk about a couple of things that might give you a little pause before you buy something like this, right? One is the price. This thing retails for $115. And right now there's like a 20% coupon on this. So it'll bring it down to about $90, give or take. Uh, but even at that price, this is pretty expensive air blower. Granted, you know, it's really well made, nice all metal build, all of that. Uh, but if you're a very pragmatic person, you'll probably just want to buy, you know, something like the other one that I have. I paid like, uh, I think $60 for this. And functionally, it's pretty much the same, right? But if you want something really compact and very well made, uh, and it's just really cool, I mean, this is a fan to get. And even better, I think this makes an amazing gift to anyone that, uh, you know, has to clean their keyboards and electronics or cameras and gear and stuff. Uh, especially if they're using a crappy air blower like I have now, they would be so happy getting a device like this, right? Because this is the kind of thing I can see where it might give you a little pause if you're buying it for yourself because of the price point. But as a gift, man, this would be the best thing ever. So I don't know how much more I can really say about an air blower other than if you get this or get this as a gift for someone, I think you or that person is going to be really happy with this. I'll have my affiliate links down below if you'd like to support the channel because, you know, I get a couple bucks uh, when you buy things like this through my links. But that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.